Hey everyone, my name is Derek Floramonti with Ricardo. Uh, today we'll be addressing and automating a very generalized HR onboarding case using Workado. The idea here is to automate the hiring and provisioning processes that most companies go through, at least something close to it. And to do that, we'll be using a Workado workflow uh, that utilizes many different tools from Greenhouse HR and Bamboo HR, both super awesome people resources tools, to MS Teams for process communication and approval, and then finalizing the, pro the process and the flow with a new user in Expensify, and then sending an email to an arbitrary recipient through Outlook that mimics HR, in this case, myself. First, we'll go ahead and create our new candidate to start our workflow off. This candidate's name is Thomas Workato, and we were so impressed by his candidacy that we went ahead and pushed him to hire, and we're gonna mark him as hired officially here. We'll fill out that offering uh, pre-filled area here by updating his name, and we'll go ahead and save. Uh, by marking him as hired, this actually acts as our first trigger for our recipe. This actually starts off all the magic, we'll then kick off uh, creation of bamboo, etc. So, in hopes that our recipe does pick up the job, we'll go ahead and make sure that it does by pushing forward on the generalized five minute uh, polling period. Instead of waiting that time, we're going to go ahead and sidestep it. So it has found the job, and ideally it will refresh this page with that information under employee. Um, and once this page loads up, we'll go ahead and navigate to Bamboo and make sure that our new employee has been created and hired. And there, let's check it out. Thomas Ricardo now is present within our Bamboo area. And then part of that workflow was then to create a push notification or some type of button interaction in MS Teams for the approval. Now this should, yep, there you go. Thomas Workato has now joined the company. And we're able to click this uh, button. As long as, uh, however you'd like to actually customize this, we've just created an Expensify button, but you could put multiple buttons, multiple levels of approval, um, which could then also act as different triggers for Jira or different applications. In this case, we're just gonna create Expensify. And we've set up the response message to give us a link there. There you go. Link to Expensify just to make sure that our demo workado at Outlook account now exists in that policy. And so once this loads up, we'll go ahead and navigate to workado at outlook.com. Now is within our emails. Uh, so it signifies him being given those uh, rights in that policy. We were given a updated message here. And then finally, we wanted to make sure that the HR email that you set up does get a notification that this person has been hired. And there you go. Thomas Mercado has been created using this templatized message, which we can actually touch base on just uh, just for really quickly. Um, it's sent via that email or Outlook. And uh, yeah. So now that we've seen the flow, we'll go ahead and take a look at the recipe really quick. Um, this will act as your first interface. Generally, this is where you're going to set up your first trigger. And like I said, greenhouse, uh, a new greenhouse candidate marked as hired is our trigger. And I've set up those conditionals within. So we're going to click open this action here, this trigger rather. And I've set the data pill status to equals hired, the, the value hired. Um, and this data pill comes from the actual trigger itself. Uh, data pill is a term that we use for all the different types of fields that are usually passed as parameters in responses, but in this case you can use them in any preceding or sequential step. Uh, here I've listed then all the Bamboo employees, added some conditionals to make sure that I'm not duplicating any employees, create a new one if it doesn't exist, or update a prior existing employee. And then I'm posting a message by calling another uh, a preset up button at the bottom here called create expensify user and you pass in two uh, pieces of information so like I said that button actually acts as a trigger itself that we call so and we've created this new command create expensify user so once the individual in HR which you could set up at you know different levels of approval different um, sets of recipes that mark different button uh, flows etc um, once the 
button has been clicked, it goes ahead and executes the rest of the recipe. So here we'll get all the employee data from Bamboo HR. We're gonna go ahead and create ex the employee in Expensify with all the necessary data. We actually form the template, uh, which we create earlier, or we create in uh, the tool section of Workado. But we, we've created these variables to fill out the employee name, the first name, and last name, which acts as basically an enriched document that we can send now as a sort of dynamically set. And then we'll send that email and then post that reply that we saw. In this case, I'm sending it from a, an Outlook account, which is required, and then sending it to two arbitrary emails, myself mostly. Um, one thing I wanted to highlight is the error monitoring here. Uh, we can be as good as we can, but still there's some unpredicted errors and to make sure that we're getting everything uh, and being as safe as possible, kind of uh, best case here. We'll go ahead and set this monitoring up. If anything goes wrong, make sure to have some ability to handle it. Um, and yeah, that pretty much concludes the onboarding demo. Um, thank you so much for listening, and I kind of hope you have a better understanding of the, the impact that Workato could potentially have at your workplace. And thanks, thanks again.